Hey everyone, welcome back to another video from Coco's Cosmology. And in today's video, we are going to be doing our July 2022 love predictions for our Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the month of July. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're also going to be including Venus because, you know, that's the sign of love and money. So let's see what's going on with our Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. And Venus during the month of July pertaining to their love life. What can they expect? What should they look out for? And what energy is surrounding them? All right, quick disclaimer for a lot of you guys, this energy may be happening in chronological order throughout the month of July. And for other you guys, this energy may be happening sporadically throughout the month of July. So just take what resonates with you. So let's go ahead and get right into you guys' reading. What's going on with our Scorpios, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs, and Venus, pertaining to their love life. Okay, so the Hanged Man in reverse came out first so i'm already seeing some trust issues here so we've got some reversals Let me make sure every everything is not in reverse so we've got the three of pentacles in reverse the eight of cups in reverse the six of wands in reverse and the moon in reverse you guys are not feeling some of you a lot of you guys scorpio seriously with all these reversals the tower there's some detoxification that's going to be going on during the month of july for you guys some healing um some things that may have traumatized you you know what i'm saying that type of healing and I feel like with this tower card, which is being you guys' energy, it's the breakdown of love. It's the breakdown of, and what I, what I mean by that, I'm not saying that uh, love doesn't exist um, for you during the month of love, or the month of July, I apologize for saying the month of love, but what I'm saying is with the tower card being your overall energy, it's the breakdown of how you think you should be loved or how you think you should love other people the thought process of how we think we're supposed to love people um you know thinking that you're supposed to give them gifts and shower them with the gifts and you know show no emotional attention or just push you off to the side and you know not think about you this is the type of energy i'm talking about you guys are going to be thinking different about love and the breakdown of how you think of love is what's going to be going on during the month of july scorpio so like this is the energy the overall energy that i'm seeing and you guys may be feeling that energy right now you know as you're watching this video the breakdown of how you think of love like no someone do someone doesn't have to hurt you in order for them to love you someone doesn't have to inflict harm on you for them to love you no one has to do you dirty for them to love you wow these i don't know how that happened but these same cards came out for our libras except for this one We've got release your ex coming through first, saying that the time has come to clear your energy, okay? We have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And then the last one to come out is wedding. The situation involves marriage. And I feel like Scorpio, for some of you guys, I, I really feel like it's a very like 9%. That's what I'm hearing, 
9% of you guys, you know, you may be experiencing marriage or you may be getting married. Um, this actually may be, you know, an anniversary for some of you guys, Scorpio. You may be enjoying that togetherness with your partner, maybe like honeymoon type vibes. Um, also, with this wedding energy, I really feel like it's going to be, you know, a bit um personalized you know it's only going to be people there that you love it may be a small ceremony for some of you guys you just may be feeling like yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get married um now this is the person i want to be with now deterring off from that because i don't feel like this is the major energy and vibes that i'm getting here scorpio the energy when it comes to love um it's the weight it's like a heavy weight that i feel when it comes to love and for some of our Scorpios right now it's like it's throwing it's like it's throwing you off you know it's like it's throwing your vibration off because some of you guys with this release your ex energy some of you guys are still dealing with someone who is like an ex to you you know and their energy is like kind of shady right now it's like kind of throwing you off and it's just like why are you why are you doing this to me like why why are you acting like this you know and spirit is saying what this worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life things are unfolding things are working and with the hanged man being in reverse um this is the energy of trust you know but it's in reverse so it's like you guys are having trust issues um with your ex even if you have like a child with your ex and you guys still have to communicate there may be some trust issues that may be going on some you know some things that are being withheld that aren't being shared you know between both of you and with the three of pentacles being in reverse that's just letting me know that you know there's no cooperation here when it comes to this relationship there's no divine communication scorpio you may be the only one that's thoroughly communicating and then the other person is just halfway hearing you they're not trying to hear everything that you're saying everything that you're bringing to the table it's like oh you know example scorpio back in may you guys may have said, oh, I think you should try to do this or I think you should do this. I think you should do that. And then here comes July. Um, they're doing this idea that you really gave them in May and they're acting as if <laughs> they created that idea themselves. It was just very unique for them. And then it's just like, oh, you know, uh, you may not get compensated for the idea that you created that may have profited them that type of energy that type of vibes you know kind of like shade you know like oh you you're not as creative as i am that's the type of vibe that i'm getting here scorpio i hope this resonates for at least somebody because this is the energy and the vibes that i'm getting here scorpio and that vibe can kind of make you feel low scorpio with the eight of cups being in reverse because this is somebody who was trying to find themselves trying to find their love trying to find their energy now i'm not saying that you guys are moping around sad you know you're masking that energy nobody knows that you're actually sad but it's like you know it's the principle you know what i'm saying it's the principle um that's what's going on here when it comes to love and it's just like man come on like we've been through so much and i'm trying to help you put you on i'm trying to help level you up in life i'm giving you pure advice pure love advice from someone who loves you and is actually thinking and logical about what's going to you know be moving forward in your life scorpio and it's just like they're looking at you like whatever you know it's no emotion no emotional attachment is what i'm seeing here and, and you just like sh you know should i just stay here should i release that and what i would recommend i'm not saying that you guys you know go break up with your significant other because i don't recommend that i'll never tell you to do that but what i'm saying is a lot of you guys may start releasing those negative energies that that ex or you know your situationship or your current partner is giving you releasing that negative energy like return that back to sender you don't want none of that 
you don't want none of that and with the six of wands um being in reverse you know this is the energy of receiving messages um you may actually you know receive some unfortunate news during the month of july as well when it comes to love you know and the moon being in reverse it may cause you a bit of anxiety so during the month of july when it comes to love i want you guys to start journaling um you guys can you know um i'm gonna be posting the video at some point i'm doing shadow work so you know i'll leave the link um in that video's description box when it comes to me like releasing those negative energies and not having no parts towards it like just being done with it all right so let's go ahead and get into these oops let's go ahead and get into the numerology Card so we can see what our Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus should mainly be focusing on during the month of July. So the first card to come out is number 56, which is relationship change, okay? The status of the relationship may change. Either it's going to go up to the wedding like we were talking about, because this is Scorpio energy, Scorpio vibes. So it can either be extreme or not so extreme. There is no in between. We have music, all right? So, vibing out to music, doing some meditation. You guys have number 48, which is financial discipline. So, pay attention to your finances. Some people may just be dealing with you uh, because of material wealth, you know? All right, so we're going to get into the moonology card so we can see what our Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs and Venus energy is surrounding them oh yes we needed that Taurus energy to come through all right so the first card to come out is don't let your past hold you back with this south node energy all right we have your dreams need a practical plan with the full moon and Taurus love that for us and we have nothing is yet set in stone with the mutable moon. Now, I know some people may be getting confused when it comes to that, when it says nothing is yet set in stone. But mutable moon is forever changing. You know, that's Gemini, Virgo energy, Sagittarius energy. That's the energy of just moving around. Pisces energy, you know. And I'm a rising mutable sign rising Gemini and that energy lets me know that this current moment that you're in right now is not set in stone it's forever changing things are evolving things are being eliminated things are being detoxified out of your life during this moment to bring in everything that you need right so let's get into the starseed oracle card so we can see what messages you guys have from spirit Okay, let's get one more. Do Scorpios need another one? Hmm. Do they need another message from Spirit? one more time i guess not you guys have two cards so we have weight of the world boundaries let it go it's not yours to carry you guys this is a huge message for you scorpios and i listen mm, i hope you guys watch to the end of this video because weight of the world says boundaries let it go it's not yours to carry some some of the scorpios and it's it's a lot of you guys you do not have to take care of everybody. It's not your responsibility. Love, love. It is not your responsibility to ca take care of everybody. It's not your responsibility to be there for everybody. We've got to realize that people have got to be there for themselves sometimes. It's not your responsibility to be everywhere, to nurture everybody. Because who is, who is there for you? Hmm? 
Who is there for you? That's why nothing is yet set in stone because things are forever changing. You're evolving right now when it comes to love. The way you think about love is changing right now. You're noticing how you should be loved right now. It's changing right now. We have star ancestors, hidden secrets, lost wisdom. Look a little deeper. Look within. Okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, Scorpios. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave comments down below. Subscribe. I just realized it's on this side. <laughs> Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you guys won't ever miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.